this is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com and I wanted to share with you a little bit about our ongoing latest project and our design plans. I am standing in our downstairs bathroom which has been completely gutted and right now my husband is in the process of laying the floor tile. So we're getting closer to where we can do the fun parts while the tile is pretty so that's really fun but we're getting closer to all the design elements so I wanted to do a video just sharing with you what we're thinking and what our plans are for this room so let's get started so first of all it had this nasty gray peel and stick tile on the floor and it was coming up so underneath that you could see the particle board underlayment and it was just ugh. and then the shower stall was about the size of a phone booth and I'm not a very tall person and even for me it was just like oh it was impossible to take a shower in there so we knew we had to do something about this bathroom but it really wasn't high up on the list of priorities just because there's so much else in here that needs to be done but then the shower started to leak the door stopped closing properly and then the pipe just backed up and no matter what we did we could not unclog it and we did some fairly drastic things so we decided that that was a sign that it was time to go ahead and rip out this bathroom so we did rip out the shower and lived without it and just used the toilet for a long time and then finally we're now working on it and we're just doing it my husband's doing it in the margins of his days so there's just <laughs> It's going very slowly, but slow but sure wins the race. So let me show you around here. The floor tile I'm really excited about. It's called Mercado and it's from Floor and Decor. I have been, or we have been, my husband and I have been looking for years at different encaustic cement tile and the porcelain versions of that, which aren't you know they're made to look like encaustic cement but they're not really and I think we have looked at every pattern available at Home Depot, Lowe's and Floor and Decor for the past I don't know five years and this is the one that we actually found very recently and we really like it the best it's really I think it's really beautiful before we had settled on a black and white one which we also really liked and then at the last minute we found this and decided to just go with it so that's going on the floor and then that has been the sort of jumping off point and I'm feeling really inspired. It's reminding me a lot of when I was in college and I got to spend a summer in Seville, Spain, which is full of the most gorgeous tile imaginable. I've been told, I've never been to the north of Africa, but I've been told that Seville is very much like the north of Africa which makes sense because it was, it, run, it was ruled by Arabs for I can't remember how many hundreds of years. So the, art, the influence is immense and they have gorgeous, gorgeous tile everywhere. So the tile we've got going on the floor has just brought up all of these memories I had of Seville. And so I'm really starting to think of a, this bathroom as like a south of Spain, Sevillano, bathroom maybe sort of a Moroccan feel and that's what I've been looking for in my design elements. We are planning to do white subway tile on the walls and the walls go up very high. We've, my husband has put them up um, I think they're maybe eight feet. This room has 12 foot ceilings. It's very tall just like the rest of the house and so I think the tile's going up seven feet. I didn't I can't remember seven or eight so and we're planning to do subway. When we started putting down the beautiful Mercado tile, I said, what about putting this up the wall as well? And we might do that, but to be perfectly honest, it's much cheaper to get 15 cent subway tile from Lowe's, even though this Mercado tile is, it's fairly inexpensive, but it just adds up when you're doing this much of a wall with tile. So we'll see, we'll probably end up doing subway tile and I'm not sure if we'll wanna do white grout so it'll all look white or maybe a darker gray or black. I'm also, I did get to spend some time in Paris as well and somehow looking at the Paris subway 
pictures, I, I'm feeling like that would be a cool look and they seem to have a darker grout. So we might take that as our inspiration, but we haven't decided yet. If you have an opinion, I would love to hear or experience with Subway Tile. Um, what kind of grout did you use? What color did you end up going with? Are you happy with it? Please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about that. Above the tile wall, of course, we still have a good four foot of ceiling. And going along with the Moroccan civilian theme, we're thinking to do either a lime wash paint or milk paint. Uh, we did milk paint on the walls in our boys' room upstairs, which was painted straight over raw plaster, and we really liked the result. It's somewhat similar to what you would get with a lime wash paint, where everything is cloudy and mottled, and you don't get that uniform color like you would if you used a standard latex paint. Mm, my question with the milk paint in here is, is it going to adhere to the latex that's already on the walls? So this plaster is not raw. It's already been painted several, several times. As far as I can tell, it's all white. So I don't know about that. I think it would work, but I don't know if it would give enough of the cloudy modeled effect that we're looking for. Then I actually noticed that just recently, Lowe's has started selling a lime-based paint product, which is interesting. I've had, heretofore, I've only seen it in like little boutique online stores or at specialty historic preservation stores. So Lowe's now has this product, which would be really easy to get, obviously, because it's from Lowe's and it comes in a lot of colors. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking either um, a green or a blue. And we are also planning to paint the ceiling the same color. So you get this like dome effect of the blue or blue green over the whole bathroom. So I'm not sure if we'll look at Lowe's. Limeworks.us is another, this is a historic preservation material site and they sell a lime paint in powder form. So you have to mix it up yourself. So I'm also looking at that as a possibility as well. And then lighting, we have a lovely, beautiful, disgusting, <laughs> I don't like ceiling fan lights, um, especially in the bathroom, it's just, uh, anyway, we have a white ceiling fan light in here. That's gonna go. I found this beautiful, what did they call it? Uh, like a Moroccan style light on Amazon that's blue and I thought it would look great in here. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna give off enough light for a bathroom. So I've also looked at these Moravian star lights and then there's this, I think it's called like a lotus petal light and that's at World Market. So either the Moravian star I really like with, they come in all different finishes. There's some have a black, uh, like the rims of the holding the glass are black. Some of them are brass. Our metal work in here is going to be mostly chrome, which I'll explain why in a minute. So I was thinking maybe a black one, you know, glass with the black. If, have any of you ever tried a Moravian? Moravian Starlight. They look really beautiful to me and I've heard that they work really well in bathrooms. So I'm seriously considering that, but I also really like this one from World Market and I think it could be nice too. The things that are staying. So this is again, like a lot, like most of the remodels we do at our house, I, they're very much, they're very low key. Like we are not moving major stuff around. We are not moving the electric around. We are not moving the water and plumbing around. So the toilet and the sink are gonna be in the same spot. And the sink is actually, I think, original to when they must have first put in a bathroom here. It's an American standard sink. The only toilet in a reasonable price range that I have ever found is the Kohler Memoirs toilet. They sell it at Home Depot. I actually really love this toilet. I think it looks very vintage. It looks a lot like our truly vintage toilet in our upstairs bathroom, which I think is from the 40s. So I'm hoping we can get that toilet to sort of, you know, dial back the clock a little bit, get back to the vintage in here since everything else is, and the sink is in fact authentically vintage. And then my husband found at an outdoor, 
I don't, it was like a yard sale or someone was selling things on the side of the road a few months back. He found this vanity medicine cabinet with two lights on the sides that goes very well with the sink. So the sink and the vanity and the toilet are going to be, of course, you know, feel very modern and white and chrome. And then the tile and the the cloudy lime wash style paint is going to feel quite, quite old. So it's going to be interesting to try to make all of that work together. Um, and I was thinking the light might be a good place to kind of marry those two. And the Moravian star might be a good way to do that. I'm not sure. What do you think? I like our toilet paper holder just fine. It's chrome. I got it at Better Homes and Garden or Walmart Better Homes and Gardens years ago. They're that brand. And so it's also chrome. And so I don't want to change any of that really per se. We're going to have the shower in the corner here and it's just going to kind of slope down into the shower. There might be a, there's going to be a little tiny ledge step down, but not much of one. And it's going to kind of work as a corner shower. So, and we're doing that to sort of plan ahead for age in place. Like, you know, we're old and we can't move getting in and out of the shower, um, easily. So we're planning to get an L shaped shower rod. I'm looking at this one at signature hardware and it's going to go in this corner and just cover our corner shower area. Now there's so much going on in here already with the tile and I think the light's going to be a big focal point. So I think probably the best thing to do is probably just to get a plain white cotton or linen shower curtain. However, I love color and patterns. So it's been really hard to not look at some of the fun shower curtain options out there like this. I like this non-impressed frog <laughs> very much. So we'll see, maybe I'll be able to find something that's patterned and interesting and yet doesn't clash or steal the show. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I am looking for a cool shower curtain. Let's see. And then we're thinking that when you step out of the shower, there's like a three or foot, three or four foot width of wall here on the other side. And we'd like to put either a towel rod or several that screw into the tile. We have these left over from the upstairs bathroom. And I like these, of course, this is brushed nickel. So maybe something like this in chrome. This is like a shower, what do they call this? This is actually a robe hook, but I think it would work nicely for towels as well. I tend to think that hooks might be better since there's seven of us and it would be nice to hang up in theory, seven towels, you know, so I think these would take up less space if I could find something like this in Chrome, but I haven't really started looking for that yet. I really do like the shape of this very much. So maybe Pegasus makes a Chrome one. I'll have to see if any of you have any uh, towel hooks that you love. Again, I'm looking, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about your towel hooks. This room, of course, our house is very old. And at one point there were absolutely no inside bathrooms. And this bathroom was made by partitioning off a part of the house that used to be something else. I guess the room next to it used to be bigger. I'm not really sure, but there is a door, a real door, a real old door that leads to my husband's study straight out of the bathroom. And we definitely, don't want to get rid of that door because it's beautiful. It has a transom. It's original to the house. However, we don't want to use it because it then it's just not very, it's you, then you have two ways into the bathroom and just kind of gets tricky with the doors and it doesn't really work for us. So what we do is we keep it locked and in the past, because it does have a lock thing, a really cute little old Victorian style lock. And then we put a dresser in front of it. And this is a dresser that I have had for 20 years. No, maybe not 20, but 12 years. And I painted it this blue and I think it might actually work really well with the tile we've ended up going in here with in here. So we might just leave it there and use that. And it's a good bathroom storage thing, mostly for towels. 
but I am also tempted because I do have like 11 feet to work with over here. I'm tempted to get something taller. So I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace for like a tall, narrow hutch that would just fit in there. Let me know what you think of all of my design plans for this bathroom in the comments below. And please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, if you'd like to see more content like this. And definitely let me know if you have any ideas for anything that you think I should incorporate. Thank you so much. This is oldworldfarmhouse.com.